There are plenty of signs for success around Umar Boxing Club. Pictures, words of encouragement, mottos for in and out of the ring. And that's what Marvin McDowell wanted to give Baltimore's youth when he started Umar Boxing Club. Was it three, four? A chance to make it in this world, and that's exactly what he gave James Barry. James was pretty aggressive. He, you know, he had the attitude of a boxer. He's a mean guy. You know, he got that attitude, and that's what you need to be successful in, in boxing. His anger is under control. You know, a lot of these kids come from different situations and they're mad off the box. This is like a family environment. We care about the kids sincerely with no strings attached, and all we want is the best out of them. But first, McDowell had to get James to come in and stay with Umar, which wasn't that easy. McDowell has a strict rule at his boxing gym, no hooks before books, meaning you have to hit those school books before you can hit anyone in the ring. He used to come in and watch his cousin train. So you know it's a saying, you keep coming to the barber shop, eventually you're going to get a haircut. Well, it's definitely been a struggle and it's not going to be easy. It's a different thing about boxing. You can play football, you can play basketball, you can play baseball. You can't play boxing. Because the Olympic trials and qualifying was coming up, I said, Barry, I said, man, just give me this year. I said, you give me this year, and I guarantee you reap the benefits. And Barry did reap those benefits of spending 12 continuous months with McDowell at Umar. He won the Maryland State Championship, then he went on to New Jersey and won the regional championship. And he won the state golden glove, and then he went on and won the regional golden glove. And now, Barry has a shot at making the 2008 Olympic boxing team. There's only one of y'all going to make it pretty. And right now, I'm the only one standing. So I guess I'm seeing the light. <laughs> little did James Barry know when he stepped through those doors at Umar a little over seven years ago and into the ring, what started as a curious fascination with boxing would lead from a life on the streets to a college scholarship and even a spot on the U.S. Olympic team. Well, boxing, I'd probably be doing any type of thing. I grew up in a tough environment. It's definitely helped me just to stay focused and doing something positive and negative, staying out of jail, staying out of trouble. I see him as a world champion, but I also see him as a businessman because uh, this coming September, he's going to start uh, Northern Michigan State in Marquette. That's the USA Boxing College. Boxing, going to college, boxing and books, and that's what we promote here. So perhaps next summer, James will be saying ni hao to the Beijing Olympics. That's Chinese for hello. Are you brushing up on your Chinese? I'm going to have to start when we come back. <laughs> We're going to have to start. Double up. Uh, but he Double does up. know how to box. And in the ring, that's the language he's fluent in. In Baltimore, Amy Fadul for Sports Unlimited.